Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 56, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's up 2, gold contract down $16.40, trading at 1,191 an ounce. Silver off 26 cents at $16.31 an ounce. Platinum off 13 at 1,223 an ounce. Copper flat at 2.93 a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck at $65.72 a barrel. Bonds, you have the 10-year down 19 ticks at 125.28. 30-year off 11 at 141.16. King dollar up 622 ticks at 89.57. The euro down 84 and the yen is trading up 1.62 at 121.40. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them, see what we have out here. Okay, so check it out. S&P and the Dow Industrials both go to a new high. We start out here, we take a look at this uh, cash S&P first. Cash S&P gets to a price point out here today of 2079.47. Right now, we're at uh, 2075. Uh, the weekly uh, high out here is 2075.76. I expect what you're gonna see out here Today is that you're going to see a, well, we have light volume, number one, but you're going to see a weekly fail. This is a deviant, about as deviant as you get. If you go over to the SPY, the SPY, what you're going to see in the SPY is that the SPY has done 63 million shares. Uh, you're going into 142 million. That is on the daily. On the weekly, what we're going to have set up here is you're going to have, you're going into uh, 454 million, and right now we're at 401. So, bottom line on the weekly, uh, we'll see if the price is going to be over the highs of what it's basically testing, which is two weeks ago. Uh, that is 207.84. Right now we're at 207.97. Uh, if I just jump to the E minis for a second, what, you, with, what we had intraday here, folks, is this. Intraday, you know, when we were talking about this yesterday, yesterday you had the spike higher uh, at uh, 1230. Uh, that spike higher, we, I was talking about specifically that was an institution that was either selling into the market that was uh, trying to basically use that trade. It was a seven point price spread in the S&Ps, which never happens, by the way. Um, bottom line. That got tested today, light of volume, and gave it up. Um, and when we say uh, how it got tested, so check this out. When it got tested, the first time it got tested at 34,000 contracts versus the 95,000. The second time it got tested, it got tested with 8,000. So you get 8,000, here's the correlation, 8,000, 35,000 into 95,000. That's the first part. Second part's more important. The second part is that then you came off that and you had volume expand slightly. Uh, what we just did, uh, at, at just as we're getting on the air, the volume expanded dramatically coming into the, the lower swing points. Uh, last 10 minute bar here was, has been a larger swing bar, excluding how the first test got done this morning. So what is that set up? That's gonna set up a flat S&P as we come into the close. So it's gonna be interesting uh, watching this next uh, 65, 60 minutes coming into this close. Uh, gold contract, we're gonna take a look at gold. What we have with gold is this. Gold contract down 16 bucks. What gold is doing is came, it's come into the huge sign of strength that it had on Monday with dramatically lighter volume. The bottom line is that they get the metal down, but the metal's not down in the context of uh, the dollar being up over 600 ticks. Uh, so what I expect you're going to see out here, and in fact, if we look at the XAU, the HUI, the equities themselves, they're not whacking. Uh, XAU is down a uh, uh, buck thirty-seven at seventy. That's building cause for higher price. Uh, if we take a look at individual equities, we pull up AEM, an Eco Eagle. What you see with AEM is that you're back fifty-six cents. You're back into a sign of strength where it had uh, four million and. Four, we have four million both times and you're at 1.6 uh, million. So bottom line is that those babies are building cars for higher price. Now, 
The bond market, folks, is the one that's still screaming it wants higher prices. This is pretty amazing, actually, because we had a jobs number come out today that was huge. Um, we go over to the bond market, though, and guess what? Bonds just don't want to pull back. Uh, they got the 10-year today went to 123.28, rejected that price. Ended up, uh, no, one, yeah, 125.23. Rejected that price. The, the thing that is really wild about bonds, the swing point in bonds, okay, so picture this. The, the lowest swing point, that which it should have been able to make today, is 125.17. It just couldn't handle it. it. just couldn't make it. So bottom line, what I expect you're going to see here is that bonds are still building cars for a much higher price. The first downdraft was pretty dramatic. There's no two ways about it. Bonds went from 126.17 down to 123.23. Big, that big downdraft. That's on the 10. Uh, we take a look at the 30 year, what you had with the 30 year, same type of setup in the 30 year. Um, US. <laughs> it's, you know, it's wild, folks, is getting used to the 2015 because uh, all the future contracts now end with a five. Uh, we're in 2015. They're pretty amazing. I guess we're only 30 days away from it, too. 40, 50, well, not longer than that, 50 days. Uh, 30 year, what the 30 year did is this. 30 year had, had volume out here, uh, thus far 419,000 contracts, but you're going into uh, 685. Bottom line, that's still building costs for higher price. And the 30 year, this is what's really wild, the 30 year is still inside the October 15th bar. That's amazing, because that, that October 15th bar, the high of that bar is the 146.16 level. That wants to get hit. Now, let's go to King Dollar, because King Dollar not only is at the higher swing points, it has stayed at the higher swing points. Right now, King Dollar is at 89.57. It's up 622 ticks. If we go over to the continuous contract, uh, it was 88.80 that has been trying to hit for over a month. Uh, it basically hit that this this week, and then what it did is also go to the um, on the continuous contract. We've hit 89.49, and 89.71 is the high of 2009. Um, it's hit hits to hit all of them. So so here's your here's your here's your deal. 89.71 probably is going to get hit now. Why? Because we hit 89.49. This there was the dollar had stayed up here. In 2008, from October through March, then it then it goes down to 74, comes back up, tests that level in June. Uh, you know, so we'll see how it comes into that level. The encouraging deal in the dollar versus the metal market is that with even this expansion topside, uh, the metal market they, they're basically not taking it apart. Oil. Let's go take a look at the oil market. We have what oil is this. Oil gets down to a price point today of 65.17. 239,000 contracts traded. And excuse me, folks, that is light of volume. I mean, it very well will test the lows that were put in on last Monday. That low there was 63.72. A volume on that low is 504. Thousand contracts. So you're coming into that, and you're coming into that with uh, a lot lighter volume. Uh, this afternoon on Fridays, I do a, a show, uh, the Nadex Binary Bull and Bear Binary Option Hour from 10 to 11 in the morning. And as Daryl and I were on this morning, uh, that hit one deviation. Although, and when you take a look at the Daryl does, he has a nice little piece of software that has the deviations uh, built into it, and this is deviations in real time. And bottom line, uh, it hit that level and uh, decided that that's it. That's all I'm going to do for today. And then it did get a counter trend bounce from the 65.17 level back up to the uh, 65, uh, actually 66. Yeah, 66.23. So you got, you got that little bounce going. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go look at the financials. So inside the S&P today, folks, the financials that make having these things go topside. Even though the S&P is not up that much, but bottom line, it's the financials that are doing it. If you go to Goldman Sachs, we'll, in fact, you stay right there. We'll take a shop break. We're going to be back. Uh, we'll bisect and dissect those financials. Dow Industrials right now up 54. NASDAQ's up 11. S&Ps are up 2. We're going to be right back, folks.